Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. Oh, it's an exciting day. We have a new package that has just arrived. Now, not only is it exciting that we're getting a chance to open this and see what's inside, but tomorrow is my birthday. And what could be better than to get something in the mail? You're not sure what it is, but you're looking forward to it, especially when it comes wrapped like this. You guys all know what that means when you get kind of a mustard brown box coming in. It means we have a new watch from finnawatch.com. Okay, let's pull it out and see what we've got. Wow. Finno, real smart. This is the first time I've really seen their overall packaging. Nice. There's a barcode for you to scan. Let's see what's inside. Mm. Nano SIM, dual core, 4 gigabytes ROM, 512 megabytes RAM, GPS, and a pulse meter. All in here. And there it is. Wow. Nice presentation. What I'm guessing is we are looking at the X5 watch. The X5 is a special watch in that it has a, the unique screen, the AMO LED, the, um, the kind that has every pixel illuminated individually that can save on battery when you use it. And a nice leather strap. Look at that. Okay. In the back, we have a charging dock, a speaker, it looks like, screws to take it apart and probably put in the SIM card, uh, three buttons, a crown that seems to turn, buttons that you'd push, there's a protective screen on the top. We'll take that off. Okay. And a microphone in a very nice silver case. What else have we got in the box? Let's see. Wow. When you take out the plastic insert, we find there's a manual in Chinese and Let's hope in English. Let's take a look at the manual. Fix it so you guys can read it. Okay, some basic notices. Some information on, I presume, turning it on. I hope this is readable. A nano SIM inside. Watch software and instructions. More goodies. How to set things, the health part of it. The browser, barometer, music player. Got a lot of software. The watch app store, Bluetooth connection via Apple. And a watch Android assistant. Okay, with another barcode that you guys can scan, probably to download the software that you need. All right, that's the manual on the Fino now, Finau, sorry, Finau X5 watch, which also includes the USB charging cable, some extra screws, yeah for uh, taking off the back, the little charging dock that you plug the USB into and then plug that into your uh, computer or charger. It looks like there's a screwdriver down in here as well Whoa, that comes with it for taking the watch apart and changing out the screws. All right. That's the unboxing. That's what you get with your brand new watch. Let's see if we've got enough juice to turn it on. 
It's got to be one of these buttons. Let's guess the bottom one. See what happens when we press it. Now, nothing's happening there, so let's guess the top one. Well, nothing's happening there, so <laughs> let's try the middle one. <laughs> All right. Finow, F-I-N-O-W, finowatch.com, their website. And that is nice. Have not seen their logo before. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed by the display. I'm not sure it's picking up well enough on the camera to really uh, show the depth of presence that this watch has. But it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Booting up for the first time, so it's probably taking a little bit longer to load its software. And there is the clock face. This is a good-sized watch. It's got extra visibility, so it's going to be easier to read uh, for the smaller font. Now, presumably, if we just slide to the left, we'll get whatever notifications are being transmitted to the watch. If we move to the right, we'll get the uh, built-in music player so that you can play onboard music that's on the device. Move again, and you have your pulse monitor, which is on the back, right here. The little thing will light up with the green lights. Click icon to measure. There it goes. Wow, that's bright. Just uh, one of them, too, it looks like. Measurement failed, of course. Let's try it again. I'm a bit excited, so I might be a little high in the measurement right now. This is a beautiful watch. I like the background. Um, they've really done a fine job on their firmware. Yeah, okay, don't tell my doctor. I won't. If you don't, okay. <laughs> That's the uh, pulse and your pedometer where you can measure your steps and you can set an interval if you'd like to, to measure as you're walking. Kind of crazy to get it that way, but that's part of the whole health package. And then you go again and you have weather. So if you're connected to the internet, you're in a country that supports it, um, you'll be able to get your weather. And of course, you got to enable location. We got to set everything up with Wi Fi, all that stuff before we uh, can get that. But that's on one of the tabs, too. And that's the last one. And here we go back. So we have one, two, three, four, five separate little windows. And from the watch face, we can tap to go deeper into where all the apps are. This is gorgeous. The display is so brilliant. Amazing. These are the installed apps. You have phone, messages, and contacts. You have your settings, the health, which we already saw, the music, which we already saw, alarms, weather, which we already saw, a sound recorder, the watch helper, which lets you uh, connect to your Android or Apple phone, a separate app store, which just does the apps that um, are available independent. There's just a few in there right now, at least in the other similar kind watches, um, different than the Google Play Store. There's the barometer, which ties in with the weather, your built-in browser, the calendar, downloads, file manager, and the Google Play Store, which once we're on Wi-Fi, you can get into to download any apps that you'd like. This is a full Android device. And uh, voice search, which is your Google Voice voice capability. Those are the installed apps. And when you come back and press and hold on the watch face, you can actually change to the different, what they call clock skins, which result in watch faces. The time, which is not accurate, it just came out of the box. These are the built-in watch faces that come with this particular watch. But guess what, folks? Just like some of the other watches we've seen in the smaller format, this has the ability to add watch faces to it. 
There's techniques, which we have videos up on, on our website, which is, of course, not website, but our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash smartwatchticks, all one word. You go there and you can see a whole variety of watch faces that have been developed by independent developers and offered for free to the community. And you can get lessons on how to design and create your own clock skins and install those on this watch. So, wow, look at the detail. Are you getting a sharp focus on that? That is gorgeous. And in this specialized um, OLED screen that we've got, where every pixel is illuminated separately, it's just absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's move on. Just a quick review of the installed clock skins as we do a first look at the Final X5 smartwatch. Whoop. Again, you go to Finowatch, F I N O W A T C H dot com is the website, and they have a storefront, I believe, on AliExpress. And, of course, you could search on the X5 smartwatch. It should start popping up all over the place. Nice. Since I won't have any time on my birthday tomorrow to make this video, I figured I'd sneak into the package today and put this first look unboxing video together for you so you have a chance to uh, celebrate along with me all the good stuff that you're about to see. All right, I'm, there are more digital. Whoa, these are different digitals. Look at these. You want to see them? All right, we've got time. Hey, look at that. Very interesting. A lot of these uh, clock faces um, are, and we got 39% in the battery. Not sure what language battery is uh, spelled battery, but there you go. These clock faces are part of the firmware that gets updated periodically in these watches. And we are also uh, producing videos to help you update your firmware. And now that the X5 watch is here, we'll be putting together a specialized video specifically for updating the firmware in this watch. And in the time that this was sent out to the time that it has arrived, there has been a firmware update already. So what you're looking at has already been updated. Now this is the basic uh, operation of the uh, watch. Nice. I wish you could see. You got you to gotta order one of these to really feel, and I mean feel, the colors, the brilliance. This is like those Samsung phones that are just so saturated. It's almost hard on the eyes. Amazing. There's a different way of telling time. This is the creative kind of stuff you see out of the XDA developers and the clock skins that they are creating. We have over a hundred uh, clock skins up on um, our YouTube channel right now that have been designed by developers, each of which you can download and install on this watch. And I've got an accumulation more coming and pretty soon within a week or two, we'll probably be putting up another video of a hundred more. So uh, they just keep producing, and we just keep eating them up. It's awesome, and they're free. And um, they run the gamut from watch faces you've seen before um, in regular watches to creative things you've never seen and ideas that are just blowing everybody away. This is a good-sized watch. If you um looking for something like a man's watch and a woman's watch companion, this X5 is beautiful for a little larger format uh, for a, a man, um, and it's 400 by 400 pixels. The X1 uh, or X3, also by Finno, is um, a little smaller. We've seen those before, and it's 360 by 360 in pixels. So the two together complement each other really well. 
There's a lot of lot of clock skins already pre-installed here, aren't there? Oh, wow. If you like green, I mean bright lime green, dark green, all shades of green. There you go. And some of the other things that are showing are like the temperature, the weather conditions, um, the steps for the pedometer, the pulse rate, the date. All of those pieces are individually programmed into the device and you can make those changes on your own to create watch faces just the way you would like them to display. My goodness. I'm only going to do three more, then we got to stop. <laughs> this is just too much. I had no idea they had these many in here. That's an interesting one. You got to really know where it is on your wrist to know where 12 and 6 are, don't you? If I give it to you like that, you're going to go, wait a minute. Uh-uh, that's not right. Boy, there's some brilliant red. And I don't know if you can see the grayed out part, but some of the numbers are in there, but they're subdued. Did I say I was only doing three more? Okay, let's count them down. There's one. Aw, oh, look at that smartwatch. Isn't that sweet? Two. This is the thing where, you know, you've seen in the old analog watches that it shows you with moonrise and sunrise and sunset, and it basically clicks around with the 24-hour uh, the rotation. Uh, two, right? That's two. Okay. Three. Hey, that's different. It's uh, cut off on this side, and I presume that's the pedometer information there. Okay. There's another one like that. There's another one like that. Here's a, a nice static one, similar to the one way back at the very beginning, but just a little more stuff. Now, remember, with the OLED type displays, there's no electricity going to the black sections. So when you put a dial on that's like that, if you want to get a long battery charge, you're going to need it for all day. Uh, that kind of a display is really good compared to something that's mostly brilliant and bright. There you have Although The plus means you can actually add some more stock ones. But way beyond that, it's possible using a hookup to a computer to download clock faces directly to this amazing watch. The Finau X5. Digital, analog, everything you want in a watch. This is a pure Android standalone smartwatch phone with the capability of inserting a SIM card, getting your own phone number to make it work, and limited tethering capability to your phone so that you can receive some notifications and information if somebody's calling. All right. Thank you for watching. We have more videos coming up on this amazing watch. In the meantime, thanks for now. Nice uh, birthday present. See you guys later.